All right. Okay. Today we are back with another BTS reaction video. Uh, our, on our last video, we reacted to the introduction yep. to BTS by Celeste. By Celeste. And uh, we received a ton of comments, feedback, love uh, from ARMY. ARMY. From ARMY spreading across the entire globe. Yeah. And that's why today we are going to watch This is BTS ARMY, an introduction to BTS fans by X Celeste. Because we need to understand who ARMY is. Yeah. We have a solid foundation now of, you know, who BTS is in general. I know a lot of people have uh, recommended that we watch uh, the introduction yeah. on the, each of the seven members yeah. of BTS that sort of digs deeper into who each individual member is. And I think we need to get to that soon. Yeah. We'll get to a lot of the different uh, introductions and yeah. documentary type videos. But guys, we are going to get to the music I know you're sticking it out with us. You enjoy when we research BTS and their whole entire universe. So going forward, we will be listening to some music while also trying to gain a better understanding of BTS by watching some of these introduction videos that you keep sending our way. But today, like I said, is about you all. So we're going to start by reading a few comments here that you all sent in on our last video. So the first comment comes from Linda Nguyen. She says, there's a saying we say as ARMY, you don't find BTS. BTS finds you when you didn't know you needed them most. Anyone, anywhere, at any age can be an ARMY. Mm. You can know nothing or everything about them and still feel like you are ARMY. Being ARMY is a feeling and not necessarily a label. You automatically become part of a family without even knowing it. Welcome, new armies. Thank you, Linda. And I believe we would be considered baby armies from what they tell us. Baby armies. <laughs> we will accept that title. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you, Linda. So the next comment comes from Pinay Travels in UK. Uh, and they write, I am 42 year old army. BTS has found me at a time when I struggled dealing with the loss of my mom. I put on a BTS song and it just makes me happy and smile again. I think that is probably one of the most common themes that mm -hmm. uh, we have identified in all of these comments. Yeah, People sharing stories about how BTS made them happy made them smile again right lifted them out of depression right lifted them out of sadness and it's remarkable because you know not only do you have all these diverse uh mental health conditions wide range of uh situations that people find themselves in mm -hmm. and that bts has helped them out of but then you add to it the diversity of who these people are yes howling from all across the globe all ages all ages races all races genders all genders i mean it's it's incredible it really is it doesn't end you know this is I, i've never seen anything like this yeah and like linda said and panay travels bts find you you yeah. don't find them yeah that's a a pretty big theme throughout many of your comments and you know Pinay Travels mentioned BTS found me at a time when I struggled dealing with the loss of my mom yeah that, it's beautiful really so we're gonna read two more comments because they were so beautiful all of your comments meant so much to us when we read them uh, it was hard to choose which ones to read so the next comment comes from KJ Joe KJ says, during the hardest time in my life, I started listening to BTS and it instantly gave me hope. But what really got me 
is when they said, just know whoever you are, wherever you are, out of seven of us, at least one of us understands you. It got me and I've been happy ever since and I'm grateful for them truly. Wow. So the feeling of having someone out there who understands you. Yeah. And out of seven of them, at least one of them is probably dealing with something similar to you. Exactly. Because they're such a, a diverse group of individuals. Yeah. You know, they each deal with their own ups and downs. Yeah. Wow. All right. Uh, the last comment we are going to read comes from Loretta Gillespie. And Loretta writes, I am 80 years old and was the one who introduced my children and grandchildren to BTS. Okay. Wow. I love and appreciate their talent and sincerely so very much. When I was younger, I was a professional singer mm. and music is a part of my soul. About three years ago, something pulled me in their direction. Mm. I didn't know I was searching for them until I found them. I enjoy watching BTS on my computer and by doing so each day, I am lifted up into the world of music, talent, caring, and kindness mm. offered by BTS and ARMY. I thank you both for such pleasure in my later years. We thank you, Loretta. Yeah. This comment made my week. Yeah. To hear... And Loretta, thank you so much for writing this comment. Thank you all for for writing your comments. But to hear Loretta share that she is 80 years old, and I'll change that and say Loretta's 80 years young mm -hmm. because she has a spark here, Jordan, mm. and a life mm. that seems to have been uh, very much uh, correlated to the impact that BTS has had on her, her children, her grandchildren. I find this remarkable. I find it interesting that she's the one who introduced BTS to her children <laughs> and grandchildren. You would think it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah. But this goes to show the power that BTS has. Yeah, and, and she said it perfectly. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoy watching BTS on the computer. And by doing so, I am lifted up into the world of music, talent, caring, and kindness. Yeah. Thank you so much, Loretta. Yes. So now let's get into it. Yeah. And, and I just want to make clear, Loretta's story, Linda's story, yeah. KJ's story, Panay Travels in, in UK's story, these are four examples out of the thousands, thousands, millions yes. of stories and examples that people have. And I think we'll get a little piece of that today in this video. But this is what we want from people yes. uh, after this video. We want you to let us know how BTS found you. When did you become a part of ARMY and under what circumstances? What has BTS helped you with? Because just reading these, I don't know if I've heard of another group yeah. or artist appear to have such a big impact yeah. on people's lives. So let us know how did BTS find you? And with that, let's jump into Celeste's video. This is BTS Army. <laughs> The BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. Who is the BTS Army? Army was officially established for BTS on July 9, 2013. The meaning of a military army is implied, hmm. tying in with the name of <laughs> BTS, which stands for Pangtan Sonyundan, or Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. ARMY is an acronym for Adorable Representative MC for Youth, oh. given to them in hopes that they will raise their voices and stand with BTS in support of the underrepresented values they often address in their work. 
armies in its early conception and demographic, spoke for the youth walking alongside BTS to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations imposed on adolescents, actively working to defend and preserve the value and ideals of today's youth. While what initially draws in new fans may be their talent and their catchy melodies, many grow into dedicated armies due to BTS's core values, missions, and social messages, which have been magnets for the diversity of the fandom. BTS is adamant on their stances against bullying, abuse, and the current socioeconomic norms. They seek to empower youth and women, promoting mental health, self-love, and self-development. They have inspired many fans to better themselves and be active in fighting against social injustices. Armies started small, but passionate, much like BTS. However, one stereotype that incessantly follows the fandom is that of screaming hormonal teenage girls. <laughs> While amazing young folks are indeed a part of ARMY, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a young or passionate person, statistics prove that BTS reaches far beyond its expected demographics. Take a look at this age demographic. 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 25% are 40 years old and over. Okay, let me just pause it there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. Right. Because I'm, I'm sure, you know, if, if you thought like me before jumping into this BTS rabbit hole, I would have assumed that the majority of BTS fans, BTS armies were teenagers or teenagers. Yeah. Jordan, not even a quarter are teenagers. Wow. The majority are 30 and plus. The majority of are 30 and over. Wow. And, and it just keeps getting better. <laughs> yeah. You can't make assumptions. No. With this group. That's one thing I'm learning. You have to remain neutral and just yes. take in the information. And, I, you know, I would think this information is, is valid right here. Yeah. What you just said is the most important lesson that I've learned so far mm -hmm. just by listening to, to a few of, of BTS's videos and, and, you know, learning who they are, you cannot make assumptions. Yeah. You cannot make assumptions. Jordan, nobody from the outside looking in knows what BTS stands for. Mm. Nobody from the outside looking in knows what ARMY stands for. Right? Yeah. Not only is there that connotation having to do with a literal army mm -hmm. but it, it's an acronym yeah what did the acronym stand for yeah let's take a look to see what it stood for adorable representative mc for youth uh, hopefully celeste gets into a little, little bit about yeah what this means exactly but adorable representative mc for youth yeah. All right, let's wow. jump back into it. 8% are in their 30s, and 25% are 40 years old and over. Here's a graph from Reuters, who compiled the web traffic for 2020 Map of the Soul tour tickets. Females ages 25 and up made up 46% of web traffic, while 31% were males. Armies hail from different countries, backgrounds, ethnicities, ages, creed, and gender. I think it is important to note that there are passionate fans in almost all disciplines and subcultures, most notably in the sports world. Wow. I do often wonder why it's socially acceptable for boys and men to show their undying love and support for something they're fanatic about. Hmm. Yet. Girls and women are so often belittled for their enthusiasm. That's a good point. To help yeah. you visualize, take a look at this graph from Research BTS, showing similarities and differences between sport fans and boy band fans. Pause that. Also, note that older. 
Yeah, let's let's look at that quickly. So similarities and differences between sports fans and boy band fans. So on the left, sports fans are male dominated and there is a prevalence of violence. Hmm. Boy band fans are female dominated. However, the similarities are that there's a sense of community screaming fans spend money on merchant events intense passion and loyalty attends one to all live events of the season or tour emotional over team or idols fan chants expert knowledge and engaged on social media it's what any fandom I does see. that's what i think the chart's saying yeah but it's basically saying that there's a stereotype. Yeah. That boy band fans are female dominated, female screaming f young fans. Yeah. When in reality, BTS breaks that stereotype in half because that's not what it is. And the statistics yeah. back that up. So is this chart based on those statistics or based on those assumptions? That's a good question. I, I don't know. Yeah. But there is the the stereotype out there oh yeah you know it's yeah but no and, and one more point on this as celeste just mentioned jordan in society it's much more socially acceptable mm -hmm. to look at a sports fan right they may be wearing uh the jersey of their favorite sports team yeah and they're a part of a community they're highly committed to that community Right, and we accept that as normal. However, when it's a a, a boy band, or in this case, uh, BTS Army, you know, from the outside looking in, some people may look at look at BTS Army like they are lunatics, hmm. when essentially they are acting in the same exact manner, and in some cases, a much more deep and committed manner than sports fans. And according to the chart, a, a less violent manner at times. Exactly. From what, from what it says. Let's, let's jump into differences between sport fans and boy band fans. Also note that older fans often have more disposable income. That helps them afford the band's merchandise and concert tickets and creates an advertising market for the products the band promotes to older consumers, mm. including Samsung phones and Hyundai cars. <laughs> Their dedication, passion, and organization has helped us support BTS through a myriad of paths, enabling BTS and armies to achieve incredible results such as getting BTS's single Dynamite to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and staying in the top spot for two consecutive weeks. Only 44 songs in the chart's history have debuted at number one and only 20 of those songs remained on the top for a second consecutive week. With the success of Dynamite, BTS was recognized by the Recording Academy for their music for the first time, securing them a Grammy nomination for the Best Pop Duo Group Performance, making them the first Korean pop act to ever be nominated under this category. Since then, BTS has achieved three number one debuts on the Billboard Hot 100, with the most recent one being Life Goes On. Unlike their single Dynamite, which was sung in English, Life Goes On was sung in mostly Korean. Mm. The day Dynamite dropped, it had a total of 1,700 spins on the US radio, while Life Goes On only had six total spins on US radio. Mm, wow. This made debuting Life Goes On at number one even more impressive, oh not goodness. only because of language, but because radio airplay accounts for a large portion of the Hot 100 scores. With the release of Life Goes On and the new album B, BTS topped multiple charts on its release week. Each achievement on this non-exhaustive list is remarkable in its own right. But the true marvel of Life Goes On is this. A largely Korean language song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 mm. with virtually 
no radio play, <laughs> no remixes, and no bundles. The song's stratospheric debut offers unimpeachable proof of BTS's popularity and the dedication of their fans. Mm. Together, they have subverted a Western music industry whose archaic practices are often rooted in racism and xenophobia and redefined what a Korean pop act can achieve on the US charts. ARMY has also helped BTS set historical records such as the Beatles' 52-year record, Bee Gees' 42-year record, Michael Jackson's 36-year record, Celine Dion's 24-year record, Adele's 5-year record, and more. BTS has sold out multiple stadiums around <laughs> the world including two nights at the Wembley Stadium in London, which holds 90,000 people, oh <laughs> and the concert sold out in just 90 minutes, making BTS the 12th artist to ever sell out the legendary Wembley Stadium. Wow. During a time when streaming numbers have increased and traditional album sales have decreased, BTS holds the records for the best-selling physical album of the year and the only act to sell over 500,000 copies in the United States. The album Map of the Soul 7 has sold over 4 million copies worldwide. In 2019, BTS were chosen as endorsement models for Hyundai's Palisade SUV. Hyundai estimated sales to be around 25,000, but had already received 52,000 orders weeks after <laughs> oh its announcement, gosh. and the numbers kept growing. This army. The demand for the SUVs. Palisade skyrocketed so rapidly, Hyundai struggled to keep up with demands and was backlogged by 6 to 10 months. How else are they going to get to In the stadium? In 2020, <laughs> BTS endorsed luxury massage chair brand Body Friend. Wow. Their sales increased by 46% from the previous year. ARMY needs some of In those short, too. In short, ARMY sell out everything the members touch. Unsurprisingly, their purchase power goes beyond BTS merchandise. The fandom once sold out fabric, softener, <laughs> and wine. BTS themselves are charitable and are aware of their power and influence. They have been leading by example. Armies never straying far from BTS's actions have also taken to show their love and support towards all seven of the members, but also towards each other and the world around us. While they sell out stadiums and set and break records in the music industry, they've also nurtured a strong and loving community. Mm. On Twitter, crops of accounts unusual within a music fandom have been cultivated, such as BTS Army Medical Union, <laughs> an account made by pre-med medical students and health professional fans wow. who sought to make learning about medical science fun and accessible. Accounts like BTS Army Bar Association, made up of Army lawyers who took on the task to educate the fandom about laws and legal systems. Wait, that... Army Academy, account providing free tutoring services oh, and advice for God. young people who need that type of support. Borahe Entertainment, created for ARMY creative artists and musicians. ARMY Help Center, who seek to provide an open ear for those who might need it for the sake of mental health. They wow. created resources within the fandom to help keep organized and informed. There was even a project called the Purple Ribbon Project to help protect the members from getting mobbed while traveling through airports around the world. Mm. The efforts were seen by the band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with the purple ribbons that were used. Are, and maybe Celeste will get this, are the purple ribbons held by ARMY? Well, look at this picture. Was that a purple ribbon they were holding up? Yeah, look. But I'm it looks like security maybe. Yeah, security's on the inside. Okay, if, if ARMY holds up this purple ribbon, I, I'm going to stop right there. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and, and one of the most powerful things. Yeah, hold on. Let's just... And informed. There was even a... Pro so here, they are holding up the purple ribbon. I don't know yeah. if BTS is there or not. ...project yeah. called the Purple Ribbon Project to help protect the members from getting mobbed. Oh, well, look. They are holding it up. Come Security's moving with them. On. Security's moving with the group. They are holding up the purple ribbons. I've never seen anything like that. Jared, I've never seen anything like this <laughs> where the army 
is starting a medical union directory. They're starting a BTS Army Bar Association, <laughs> an Army Academy, you know, and an Army group for mental health care, Army Help Center. You know, Army, BTS Army, that is, mm -hmm. in many senses, is much more powerful and pervasive than any other army in this world. Mm. They don't use weapons. Mm. They use purple hearts. This is why I think it feels so different. Reading all of your comments. Yeah. This is why. Yeah. There's nothing but love. Yeah. There's nothing but looking out for one another and truly trying to help your fellow human being. Yeah. And if you both happen to be in, in army, that makes it even better. But I think this goes beyond just helping people in army. This is like, this should be a standard for kids growing up on how the world should be, what community yeah. looks like. Yes, exactly. This that's what be. this is. This is community. That, that's essentially what we're talking about here. Yes. Building a massive, massive community and support network. This is a template for what community should look like yeah. in this world that we live in. Yeah. Jordan. Mm -hmm. a, a pitch perfect template. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I would not be surprised if a government <laughs> mm. were to look at this template and say, okay, in the near future, I don't, maybe it's happening, but if a government were to look at this template and say, okay, we are instituting army. Mm. That's our form of government army. Mm. Yeah, this is something different, man. <laughs> this is incredible. Seen by the band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with the purple ribbons that were used. Not only do we help each other, but we also try to help the world around us. One of ARMY's mm. main charity fan bases, One in an ARMY, created in 2018, is a collective that acts as a guide in global fundraising initiatives for fans to donate directly to charities. To give you an idea, here's the One and an Army's charity summary map from 2019. Incredible. In 2019, more than 370 plus charity projects were created in different countries under Army. In 2020, when BTS's concert was canceled in South Korea due to COVID-19, fans donated their concert ticket refunds to help with relief and prevention <laughs> efforts. Mm. In June of 2020, moved by BTS's mm -hmm. statement and show of support to the Black Lives Matter movement, armies all over the world who had already been donating to BLM causes band together and matched BTS's 1 million donation in just one day. Wow. Yeah, she mentioned BTS that last time. BTS never fails yeah, yep. to talk very highly of ARMY and other artists have also added to the praise. The BTS Army. They're some of the most loyal, positive, and fun fans that you could ever dream of. And I just want to say thank you to all of them. Uh, Jimmy Fallon loves you. Our, the Army are great. They're the most beautiful human being. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly, poorly represented in culture as these like fangirl crazy mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. mindless and they're the opposite oh. they're like intelligent they're <laughs> funny they're tasteful they're charitable like they wanted to say thank you to me for something and they organized something like charitable in my name that's awesome <laughs> and they were like they were like what should we do for all to say thank you like should we stream her song should we this and they're like nah she doesn't care about that stuff let's <laughs> donate to a charity in her name and like organize this whole thing and then like did this like charitable thing for me and they were like this is our way of saying thanks Halsey like thanks and I was like that's spectacular. And part of me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing this? Can you imagine mm. if everyone's fans thanked them by doing, by organizing charity in their name? By helping. <laughs> why is every artist's fans not doing this? 
this is so special. This is why it's different, Jared. Yeah. And it can't be taken for granted. Yeah. Like these individuals out here, every one of you sitting, watching us now is an incredible human being. Yeah. With a backstory and a yearning to help. And that is, that's the definition of being a human being. Yeah. Right? That's incredible. Being others. What a better place this world would be. <laughs> And and I think Army is is just it's just good to people. They see when it's real. And I've been so grateful that that effort to just be respectful has been taken in such a in such a beautiful way because I know that there have been other instances where people haven't been as respectful, which is unfortunate. Mm. And uh, and it's and it's tough to see that because you're like it's not that hard. Just just be conscious of who you're working with and give love to those who deserve it. But I uh, I feel very grateful that they've been they've just opened me with welcome arms and it's so good to me. So. It's been amazing. And on top of that, they've developed this, this global army, this BTS army, that is not just like geeked out fans. Like BTS donated a million bucks to Black Lives Matter and the army was like, yo, if they can do it, we can do it. And they came, like uh, fans who were already coming out of the pocket to support artists, came out of pocket more to support charity. And this isn't the first time they've done this. This BTS army charity gives a bunch to philanthropic causes. So as an artist, as a performer, Hell, man, we have fun. You know, we're doing good stuff. But if we can resonate through the television to you at home to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's work and that's purpose. And that's like, that's, that's changing the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like that's impressive. That is, yeah. impre is that John Cena? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, he's right. Oh, yeah. That's what changes the world. That's it. That's what changes the world. Pangtampinia, I hope that this video has given you valuable insight that armies value positivity and kindness while actively fighting against prejudice just as BTS does. So despite constant pushback from the music industry, the media and other fandoms often being discredited, bullied and stereotyped, BTS and ARMY continue to lift each other up. To learn more about BTS, their personalities and more, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay tuned. If you'd like to learn more about them through my videos, check out This Is BTS, BTS's Contribution to Music, and BTS Hardships. The Purple Hub is also still working on future projects such as a website, and more informational videos. Stay tuned! I'm just more and more astounded by BTS and their power and the impact that they've been able to have on this world and people. I, I feel like we are not even one percent finished with our journey yet we haven't even we haven't even dabbled in one percent of the content the story mm. uh of bts and army i feel like now like the people have been telling us i want to learn more about the individual members absolutely because this gave us these two videos we watched this is bts and this is bts army gave us a pretty good idea of their morals, what they stand for, yeah. what they mean to their fans, army. I think I think it's time to to delve into the members. Yeah. So that's what you can look forward to next as well as some music reactions soon to come. One thing I just want to say about the last bit that she said. And this isn't to discredit other artists fans right when she was explaining 
what army is and how powerful they are. Yeah. Many other artists have fans and communities who are great human beings and can pull together and do great things. BTS Army is by far the most kind from what from the information I have received so far, the most kind, good hearted, empathetic, charitable. The list goes on of words to describe them group of people I've ever seen in my life there. And again, I'll use the analogy of civilization really. Right. Mm -hmm. We think about all those other artists in this world who have real fans. Yes. Right. Who, who are, these fans are enamored by the artists music and maybe the causes that, that they support mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. However, out of all of those, artists and and fandoms bts is the most advanced civilization <laughs> on planet earth right they're the most advanced civilization on planet earth you think of what type of community do you want to be a part of that's it i was just going to say i am honored yeah to even be called army hold on you're you're telling me Right, that I, I, we're 26 years old, yeah. But at any age, it could have been 10 years ago, it could be 10 years into the future, at any age I want to, yeah. I can say, okay, I'm army, and this is not a club, it's not a club, it's not a membership deal here. It's okay, you a good person? Do you care about BTS? Do you care about people? Yeah, all right. You say your army when you say your army, but it's also this. Are you dealing with something? Mm. Because if you are, I want to let you know of a civilization that will help you. I want to let you know yeah. of a people in a community that will help you. Not only a song, I'm going to, I'm going to point you and direct you towards songs that can be used for your own healing. Yeah. But Hey, do you need mental health care? Do you need some help? Do you need somebody to talk to? Do you need a friend? I mean, Jared, like, do you need advice? Yeah. Like, what do you need? Because I'm pretty sure you can find it over here in Army. Absolutely. And all of this, all of this overshadows the most important thing uh, and, and the thing that, that really unites Army and is what put BTS on the map, and that's their music. <laughs> right? That's it. You cannot tell me another artist where, okay, you have all of these wonderful things and sometimes you just, you forget about the amazing music that they're creating. That's BTS. That's BTS. I'm pretty sure they would tell you they would want ARMY mentioned before any of their songs. Yeah. They would want their people, their morals, what they stand for mentioned every single time above dynamite butter whatever song yeah they may have made yeah and and the final point i'll make on this darn mm -hmm. now i realize why bts army is so committed yes yes and, and so insistent upon expanding upon reaching out to have others and accepting others yes. into their community because there are over 7 billion people in this world. Mm -hmm. mm. And there are fewer, according to uh, fellow armies, there are fewer than 100 million armies. That's a lot of people, Jerry. We still got a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> people to bring in a long way to go but that's a lot of people already oh it's it's unimaginable and i can see why the stigma or the stereotype is out there of bts fans yeah. being just some screaming teenagers i can understand that 
There's passion there. Yeah. There's passion. But if you just, if you keep an open mind and you dig in, I think like how we are by watching these videos, again, that Celeste masterfully put together. Yeah. This was incredible. You begin to understand what's really at work here. Yeah. And it is so beautiful. There are no words for what's at work while you're sleeping. Armies out there healing. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. It's yeah. beautiful. And again, we'll, we'll loop this full circle with how, how we started it. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'll speak right now directly to army as well as I, I particularly want to want to speak to the people who have not joined army or who may be resistant mm. because they may hold some of those stereotypes and assumptions mm. jordan mm -hmm. give it a shot give it a shot open your mind yeah open your heart take a step right because bts jordan we if you'd have told me five years ago that i would be calling myself a BTS, a BTS <laughs> army. Yeah, I'd have looked at you and walked the other way, Jordan. Try to put down all of those assumptions and click on a BTS video. Learn a little bit about BTS and army, and your life may just change forever. Mm. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. I can't wait, Jordan. I can't wait to go on this journey. We are so, we have so much ahead of us. Yeah. We are so early on here. Uh, I just want to leave us with a comment from Richie. Yeah. Richie says, BTS said many times, we are BTS and you are our army. But at the same time, you are our BTS and we are your army. Mm. Just like you are our fans, we are also your fans. Mm. And this makes me so proud to be an army richie says i can't wait to watch your next videos i'm glad i found your channel and like jimin said you nice keep going <laughs> i've seen that phrase so many times yeah and i want to know what it means yeah let us know army what you nice keep going means and what the underlying message is there uh that Jimin said, because it seems to be like a running, a running joke. Yeah. And, and maybe they'll tell us we, we got to wait and find out ourselves. Possibly. And if that's the <laughs> case, then let us find out. But let us know what it means if you can. And like we said in the beginning, let us know your story on how BTS found you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate each and every one of you and cannot wait to continue this journey with you. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it comment and subscribe turn on those notifications and most importantly be kind and keep an open mind peace